Young thug looks defeated in court, passed out during trial. This shit break my heart, bro. I saw this with some music playing in the background, so I kind of was interested on seeing this clip to see if I can hear what the judge is saying. What was said that made Thugger feel this way? Bro, this broke my heart, for real. Like, this really broke my heart. I've been seeing a lot of you guys like, yo, we don't know. Thugger might come out and say he told everybody to snitch on him. He said it. This is all part of his plan. This right here is just telling me that it wasn't part of his plan. Why so Mondo, Mando coming out and saying homie should have never did what he did is telling me that's not part of his plan. Seeing Thugger putting his face in that desk, bro, is breaking my heart. And it hurts me because you guys know I'm already beat right now. I was 100% sure Tory Lanez was walking. I'm like, nah, bro. Tory Lanez is definitely not guilty. All the evidence is proven not guilty. The, ep the witness said that he saw the, the muzzle come off of Kelsey allegedly into the vehicle. He did see the tiny man let go of the fire. Well, shoot around at the firearm, but his hand was pointing up in the sky. What I was telling you guys was he was tasseling with Shorty over the gun. Blah, blah, that's what I was saying happened. I thought all this would prove. But again, they were just trying to charge Tory with disarming a firearm. Disarming a firearm would happen. Now, disarming a firearm would, uh, was it, uh, harming a bodily injury or whatever. Now, the other two counts, I'm not sure if he should have been guilty. But it's just a case like Doug's and seeing this is even crazier to me. And just seeing how strong he's been, man, it's just, it, it was actually motivating me and still keeping me optimistic. Me seeing him with his head in the desk today broke my heart. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's hope that we can hear the lawyers. Not the same video I heard with some sad music playing. Let's go. Same video I saw, sad music playing. Actually, this one has his music playing. Ah, oh, free young thug. Oh my god. Oh my god. Knowing you got that tender piece of Mariah the scientist meet at home would really break my heart too, bro. Really, 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 really would break my heart too. And that punk album fire, bro. We got some thugger shit. We go unboxing this channel in a couple weeks. Help us keep our spirits high. It was actually a Christmas gift to myself. I still haven't received it. I thought I was going to get it for Tres Reyes on some Spanish shit. It'll be my January Christmas. Not even that, bro. We still going. That's about to be my Valentine's Tres Reyes slash Christmas gift. All in one. But this right here is really breaking my heart, bro. And knowing the years and the amount of time that Thugger is facing, and if this does not go his way, what could happen? Off of State Rico that we didn't even expect it. Only good thing is State Rico. Keep that in mind. State Rico, you do not have to serve the exact amount of time as you do with a federal case. I believe a federal case, like 80 to 90% of your time, you have to serve that you're dealt with state is not the same thing we saw hood rich pablo get what 15 years and i think he's only actually has to do like five years and he's getting like 10 probation he might even be doing less but there's a couple cases like that i believe the rollo case i don't want to speak on stuff i don't know but i believe the rollo was another state case is why there's still hope that rollo will come out when it's a federal case it's like yeah bro you better win that appeal or you're screwed but this right here broke me Everybody else is walking around with Thugger's face fully and it just looks like he gave up, bro. Like right here he says, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like, and I thought, I saw some comments like, how you know he's not tired, bro? When you in prison, I wish you all that tired. Like, what do you do other than sleep, chill, eat, and death? And he's, he's a celebrity. So he's not still getting the same freedom that everybody's getting until this court case is done because there's alleged stuff that there was crime trying to be done in the, in the, in the prison to allegedly YFN Lucci. So again, just the fact that there's stuff that could happen in the prison, he is still at high risk. So I know his ass is in full lockdown. So it's just, it must be so much on his on his head. And I pray for Thug, I pray for Thug, I pray for Thug that the, the truth comes out and the best outcome for him comes out as well. Let's just pray that so we can see what happens, man. And let's pray that all that you guys said, that these dudes that all said yes, ma'am, are going to actually plead the fifth. Let me tell you guys how pleading the fifth works quickly. You can only plead the fifth if you're incriminating yourself. You already said the stuff in the car isn't yours. So you won't be incriminating yourself if you say it's whose it is. Also, you know it's a gang. You know all this and all that. Unless you actually had takes in there that it could, you can say something about a crime that you personally were a part of that can backfire to get you in trouble, you can plead the fifth. If not, and you have no way to self-incriminate yourself, you cannot plead the fifth. So keep that in mind when everybody keeps saying, homies is going to plead the fifth. We'll see. We will see. Thug, bro, right here, the yes, yes, homie looking at his face, and he just, yes, you see, just, yes, ow, just put his head down on the ground, bro, remember, they offered a plea deal to everybody, except one man, 
And it's because they are so focused on getting the big fish. They are so focused on getting the big fish. Right now, if you're creating a rap crew or you're doing anything like that, like I used to always tell you guys, New York kids, we always see everybody in all these other states go wild and out, Chicago, the South, Texas. Bring that shit to New York and see how quick your ass go to prison. Nigga, New York will leave you outside unless they're building a case on you. But the most you go, woo, Lord. New York, you get caught with a strap, you get in, you get in time. That's why I'm praying to God. I heard some good things about d thing. I'm just praying. But one place you don't want to play with is New York. I thought Atlanta was not to that. I thought everybody I knew in Atlanta was shooting dicks and doing the wildest thing. Hey, yo. But after what I'm seeing of what's been happening with all these Rico cases hitting down, and I'm hearing that the YSL one is not the last one, it's like, bro, I, we, my heart can't take no more, bro. My Really, my heart cannot take no more. I think I have a curse of having favorite artists. All my tentacion, out of here. Tory Lanez, I don't want to say out of here yet because I'm still being as optimistic as possible, bro. But we heard that guilty. And I fell to my knees when the law came. <laughs> that shit broke my heart, bro. Like, really broke my heart. And now Thugger, like, I can't take it, bro. I can't take it. I cannot take it. Rest in peace, Nip. Rest in peace, Juice World. Rest in peace, every artist that also has fell throughout the time. Pop Smoke. Y'all know how we was moving in the city to pop smoke. Y'all know how we was moving in the city to pop smoke. So it breaks my soul. It really breaks my heart, bro, to know just shit like this is happening every single day. You either really going to jail or you dying. The hip-hop became what they used to tell us about drug dealers, bro. You probably better off being a drug dealer now because hip-hop niggas are getting the same thing. Unless you're a little dicky and you're moving that way. But if you still on some street shit, it ain't going too pretty.